Thank you, Richard. Um, just a quick warning, I may cough, but we have no intention of canceling our festival. <laughs> so Lightning in a Bottle is more than just a music festival. We're a community and a cultural event. My brothers and I started this about 20 years ago with a birthday party for them somewhere in the Los Padres forest. It was about 150 people in the woods dancing away and 20 years later, we now have people coming to this internationally recognized music and arts festival from all 50 states and over 65 countries. We're also one of the last remaining independent music festivals of our size, which is something that we're pretty proud of. Featured at LIB, we have seven stages of music, multiple yoga movement areas, camping, swimming, live painting, art installations, speakers and workshops, healthy and organic food, interactivity, performance, but we also have a lot of activities for kids and family. All the while, we're guided by our six principles. Celebrate life, respect yourself and others, honor the land, actively participate, be a citizen, and most importantly for us, create community. It's always hard to explain what lightning in a bottle is in words, so I am gonna show you a video as well. Uh, and in this video, you'll get to see what Lake Buena Vista actually looked like last year. I wanna be your enemy. I wanna be your friend. I wanna give you everything. Then take it back again. Let me run to you Let me break down your walls Let me melt into you there's nothing left at all Thank you. Uh, Richard, you're going to fit right in. 
So the boring part of my presentation is finished, and now we can talk about the economic impact. <laughs> As you can see, we did have an economic impact of close to $6 million in our first year here in Kern. We achieved this by direct spend in the county to various agencies, individuals, and vendors, money spent by us and our participants on site, and money that our attendees spent in town at hotels, gas stations, restaurants, et cetera. This figure was achieved with a population of 18,500 people. This attendance number is on the lower side for us as we regularly put this festival together for 25 to 30,000 people. Last year, our numbers were a little low, mainly due to a change in venue and changing off of our normal date of Memorial Day weekend. Because Buena Vista became available to us this year on Memorial Day, we're excited to be able to increase our attendance and in turn increase the economic impact that we have. Also new, I'm sorry, also um, new entertainment and hospitality projects like Hard Rock coming in, our audience will be more likely to come early and stay later and we're definitely interested and excited to talk to Hard Rock about potential opportunities with them. Done with that page. <laughs> Some of our key successes this past year include turning an underutilized asset into an economic driver. Buena Vista was always a great place to visit, boat, camp, fish, but now it can be viewed as a much more valuable asset that the county can explore for revenue streams. And with our infrastructure upgrades that we're investing in for the park, it will be much more attractive for people to come out and visit. It also enables county staff to reimagine other county assets for potential revenue drivers now that they can see their potential. We're adding to diversified economic industries and are pleased to be a part of this new entertainment wave along with Hard Rock Casino and look forward to those possibilities of collaborating. By being creative with local resources, people, and vendors, we see the beginning of a new economic ecosystem. By utilizing their existing assets, skills and expertise in ways that now support a music festival culture and community. We see the potential for increased impact with county cooperation. By continuing to establish a positive working relationship by building trust with all the agencies, we hope to streamline the processes, reduce some of the red tape, and hopefully find cost savings in the short term than in exchange for greater long-term uh, success. Aside from LIB successes, there was one in particular on the county side that was brought to my attention after the festival. When we, approved, when we were approved last year to hold this event, there were a lot of agencies and departments that had to come together to work on a project that was pretty far outside of the scope of what they normally do. It was a very compressed timeline and there were a lot of unknowns, but there was a cooperative effort between county agencies where everyone came together almost weekly to work hand in hand to pull off a safe and successful music festival. This year, we just simply get to build on those successes. As Richard mentioned, along with the economic impact, we see a lot of gains with the media and community impact of the festival here in Kern. Throughout our marketing and PR campaign, we generated over 260 million social and editorial impressions. This didn't just come from our social media campaigns, it came from a number of local, national, and international press outlets covering our event. These include everyone's favorite news network, CNN, Billboard, Yahoo, uh, Rolling Stone Magazine, and, and countless more. In most cases, these articles say something along the lines of, LIB took place at Buena Vista Recreation Area in Bakersfield, California. It's followed by photos of the park being used, which excites more people to come utilize Kearns Parks and, and come to this county. We're simply showing Kern County to the world in a slightly different light. By continuing to showcase the county as an entertainment destination for attendees, musicians, and event producers, it will continue to attract 
new visitors, and new business opportunities, and help the local economy. I promise short and sweet, so thank you so much for your time. <laughs>